The GA also passed a bill to allow fireworks shows and 4th of July parades, regardless of the governor's executive order. But we wanted to know what you can do this summer when it comes to the coronavirus. New at 11, CBS 17's Maggie Newland is getting answers about summer fun and the risk involved. Maggie. Angela, we are still in phase two, so playgrounds like this one are still closed. But even as the state continues to reopen, doctors want people to remember that the virus is still out there and you need to evaluate the risks of various activities. Buzzing bees are the only sign of summer at the neighborhood playground. But down the street, Caroline, Lizzie, and Rachel May's backyard gets plenty of use. The triplets spend most of their time with each other. You can't really do much that you've done because of the pandemic. This summer has to be different. Like, I look at the rates of increasing numbers of hospitalizations across North Carolina. We have got to find a way to do this differently. Dr. Cameron Wolf says that means modifying activities to keep people farther apart. The more spaced you are, the better, the, the, the more frequent that you can be masked, the better. He says outdoor activities are generally safer, but distancing is key. At beaches and pools, the water isn't a worry. It's the potential for gathering in groups. You don't want to be suddenly having 10 people sitting around. Before starting an activity, he wants people to think about a few questions. Well, I feel sick. Where's my mask and should I bring it with me? Yes, is the, always the answer. And then, you know, how many people are here and how, how much sort of co-mingling is going to happen? You should also know if anyone in your family is at high risk for COVID-19 complications. We do not want to risk our Nana and our <laughs> Grandma. The Mays will continue to take precautions. We do the social distancing. But it won't stop them from enjoying their summer. I've been FaceTiming and messaging my friends a lot. We've been learning new recipes. I also enjoy the more time that we get to be outside and um, be with my family. It helps having sisters to share it. And they are definitely making the best of things. Now, Dr. Wolf says if you have any type of symptoms at all, even if they're very mild, you think maybe it's a summer cold or allergies, you should go and get tested because this year there's a pretty good chance it could be coronavirus. Live in Raleigh, Maggie Newland, CBS 17 News.